Sit down. Don't say anything. Just do what I say. Hello. Listen, I'm going to get up in a minute and walk out of here. That guy in the corner behind me will follow me. You follow him. Good. Remember, wait for him to follow me. I want to see what he'll do. Luther Broad's boarding house. I'm Luther. You want beds or food? See me. You too. Good work. I am glad to see you, by the way. You just caught me at a bad time. The assassins who killed the Emperor were part of a Deirdre cult known as the Mythic Dawn. Apparently worshipped the Deirdre Lord Mehrunes Dagon. I've been tracking their agents in the Imperial City. I guess they noticed. What? They took it from Joffrey? Things are worse than I had thought. Thank Talos he lives. Martin Septim, you say? We will restore him to the throne. It is the sworn duty of all blades. There's a scholar at the Arcane University. Tarmina's her name. Supposed to be an expert on Diedrich cults. Why don't you take that book to her? See what she makes of it. I'll keep running down leads on the Mythic Dawn Network. If you learn anything, you can find me at Luther Broad's. May Talos guide you. Like I said, she's one of the brains over at the Arcane University. Supposed to know everything there is to know about Deidre cults. I hope you learned something from Tarmina about that book. This might just be the break we need. What do you need, friend? What? It's a matter of trust. And I don't trust you enough yet. Yes? Thank you. Daedric Shrine's nearby. I know of two. North of the city, south of Bruma, east of the Silver Road, is a Mephala Shrine. East of the city, at the head of the Red River, is a shrine to Vermina. Good day. I'm Avras Aras. I'm the priest of Zenithar at the Leowin Chapel. I used to be a priest of the Tribunal Temple in Craigenmore. After the collapse, I drifted for a while until I joined the chapel. The Beggars and the Wicked Thieves Guild still trouble me. I wish the Nine Divines offered charity and comfort to the poor, like the Temple did. Count Leowin placed a bounty on the heads of the surviving Black Bow Bandits. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? I appreciate your business. Take care. How goes it? How goes it? Yes. If you need a light box. Hello, guildmate. Greetings, guildmate. Ah, you must be the one I got the message about. How can I help you? 
the Mage's Guild runs more or less like it always did. The Mystic Archives have a large collection of books. Look around, and you may learn a thing or two. Too big for me. Loud, dirty. Clowns, fools, brutes, and thieves everywhere. I want to throw my gold away. I just dump it in Lake Rumara, save time. You know of them? One of the most secretive of all the Daedric cults. Not much is known about them. They follow the teachings of Maengar Cameron, whom they call the Master, a shadowy figure in his own right. Ah, yes. Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. Wonderful. You have a scholarly interest in Daedric cults, then. Find them, eh? I won't poke my nose any further. Official business and all that. I'm used to working with the blades. Don't worry. Say no more. In any case, finding them won't be easy. I've studied Mankar Cameron's writings a bit myself. At least those that I could find. It is clear from the text that Mankar Cameron's commentaries come in four volumes, but I've only ever seen the first two books. I believe that his writings contain hidden clues to the location of the Mythic Dawn's secret shrine to Merun's Dagon. Those who unlock this hidden path have proven themselves worthy to join the ranks of the Mythic Dawn cult. Finding the shrine is the first test. If you want to find them, you'll need all four volumes of the commentaries. Here, you can have the library's copy of Volume 2. Treat it gently, if you please. As I've said, I've never even seen the third and fourth volumes. You should try first edition over in the Market District. Fintius, the proprietor, caters to specialist collectors. He may have an idea of where to locate those books. The supposed leader of the Mythic Dawn cult he wrote the infamous Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. The Commentaries are contemporary with Tiber's Septum over 400 years ago, so he is unlikely to still be alive, although you never know. The Holy Book of the Mythic Dawn, supposedly written by Merun's Dagon himself. If it exists, it would be an artifact of great and evil power. They worship the Daedra Lord Merun's Dagon, according to the teachings of their leader, Maenkar Cameron. No one knows how widespread the cult is or where their shrine to Merun's Dagon is located. It was so nice chatting with you. Be sure to let me know how your hunt for the Mythic Dawn turns out. What can I do for you? You must be referring to Mankar Cameron's commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes, a common mistake. It comes in four volumes. The first two volumes are rare, but you may run across them from time to time. The third and fourth are impossible to find. I happen to have a copy of Volume 3 on hand, but I'm afraid it is a special order. Already paid for by another customer. Sorry. Gwyneth would be terribly disappointed if it was gone when he came to pick it up. So sorry I can't help you. I'm afraid I couldn't sell it to you for any price. I've already promised it to someone else, and my word is my bond. I wish I had one, but I have never even seen a copy. I don't know him personally, but he was very eager to get his hands on Volume 3 of Cameron's Commentaries. Came all the way from Valenwood. As a matter of fact, he's already late for his appointment to pick up the book. Feel free to wait for him if you want to speak to him yourself. 
All right. Handsomely done. A pleasure doing... Thank you. How kind. I'd like to help you, but the cost... I would have to try to obtain another copy for Gwyneth, not to mention his disappointment if he found out. Good day. It's my pleasure. Take your time. Every little bit helps. Very well. I hate to deny a dedicated scholar like yourself. I'll sell it to you, if you must have. I hope you'll keep us in mind for all your specialty book needs. I sold you my only copy of Volume 3. Gwyneth will be terribly disappointed when he learns it is gone. Good day. Hello. I'm here for my book. Nankar Cameron's Commentaries, Volume 3. Ah, about that. You see, I don't have it anymore. Terribly sorry. Full refund, of course. You can be sure I won't be back. I've never been treated so shabbily in all my life. Good day, sir. What do you want? I don't want to talk about it. I'm still very angry at Fintius. He promised me he would get one for me. I came all the way from Valenwood for it. What makes you think that I know how to get it? And why would I tell you even if I did know? The Mythic Dawn? Are you... I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about any cult. Oh, really? You think the Mythic Dawn is the first Diedrich cult I've encountered? I'll have you know that I visited the Shrine of Shea Goreth during the Festival of the Mad. I've spoken with Hermaeus Mora beneath the full moons. I've... What? The Mythic Dawn were the ones... You have to believe me. I truly had no idea. I mean, I knew they were a Diedrich cult. <sighs> Mankar Cameron's views on Mayrune's Dagon are fascinating, revolutionary even. <laughs> but to murder the Emperor, Mara preserve us. Yes, of course, anything to help. I really know very little. They contacted me. I suppose they learned that I was looking for the third and fourth volumes. I never actually met any of them, I swear. You can only get Volume 4 directly from a member of the Mythic Dawn. I had set up a meeting with the sponsor, as he called himself. Here, take this note they gave me. It tells you where to go. I don't want anything else to do with the Mythic Dawn. You're not easy to get hold of. What have you found out? They'll pay for the murder of the Emperor. Now that we know who they are, it's only a matter of time. This just might be the break we've been looking for. Good work. We need to get that fourth book, then. If Tarmina is right, we can use these books to locate the Mythic Dawn's hidden shrine. Let's go. I know that part of the sewers well. 
The sewers run underneath the whole Imperial City. There are access points in every district. The Blades have occasion to use them in our undercover work, as well as a means to move around the city without attracting attention. Follow me. I know how to get to the part of the sewers where we need to meet the sponsor. Stick together! Huh. <sighs> 
the table is just through this door. I always wondered who put it there. I happen to know that if you go up the stairs there, you can get a vantage point on the meeting room. I think I'd better be the one to handle the meeting. You'll be my backup. Keep watch from above in case of trouble. Good. Remember, we must not leave here without the book. It's our best chance of finding the amulet. Listen, I may not survive this. But if I don't, you must. You must recover the book and find the Amulet of Kings. I'm glad to have you at my back. Okay, let's do this. You want to become one of the Chosen of Mayrun's Dagon. The Path of Dawn is difficult, but the rewards are great. I have the book you seek. With it and the Master's three other books, you will possess the key to enlightenment. But do you have the wit and strength to use the key that you've been given? If so, I will see you next at Dagon's Shrine. Yes, I think you may. Wait! I've seen you before. You're the blade that Brother Astarth was tailing. For Uriel's septum! There's someone else here! Lord Dillon, welcome your soul. The time of Plague King is almost here! The time of Plague I do not fear. I am the Empire. What do you need, friend? Now that you have all four books, you should be able to handle things from here. I'm going to Cloud Ruler Temple. My place is at Martin's side. I'll see you back at Cloud Ruler Temple. Good luck.
Good day. What can I interest you in? I'd go. Got a great farewell. It's my perhaps you need new armor. You got a take. Good day. Archmage Draven is the first to take such a hard stance on necromancy. To find their secret shrine to Merun's Dagon, you'll need to study the four volumes of Maincar Cameron's commentaries. It is a fairly common practice of these kinds of esoteric cults to put hidden messages within their sacred writings. In effect, simply by finding their way to the shrine, 
prospective members have already passed the first test on the road to enlightenment. You've piqued my curiosity about this puzzle. I will think on it myself and let you know if I have any ideas. Check back with me tomorrow after I've given this matter some thought. I'll keep studying the first two volumes of the commentaries. Who knows, I might turn up something before you do. A pleasure to speak with you. Some say that Traven is misusing the power of the Archmage's position. I turned up copies of the first two volumes from my colleagues and I spent a little time rereading them. Maincar Cameron certainly is a fascinating writer, undoubtedly insane, but fascinating. Ah, but more to the point. It appears to me that the first words of each paragraph may be significant. A message may be hidden there. I'll continue to study the problem. Come by tomorrow if you like. I may think of something else. Darmina, this is my mystic archives. Keep it neat, keep it quiet. No eating in the stacks. Archmage Traven is the first to take such a hard... I think I may have figured out the hidden message in Mankar Cameron's books. Do you have the third and fourth volumes with you? Excellent. Let's see. Yes, the first letter of each paragraph spells out a message. Write this down. Green Emperor Way, where tower touches midday sun. Are you familiar with Green Emperor Way? The gardens around the Imperial Palace? Something must be revealed there at noon. How exciting! I've half a mind to go down to Green Emperor Way myself and see what's there. Well, good luck. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you.